Hello, 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 hello. How are we all? Yeah, welcome to another fighter clinic. They were going to pause while I was doing the fighter subscriber preliminaries. But now we're back to see how we can improve your craft <laughs> to, to the best of my abilities. Yeah. Um, yeah, without altering the design too much, without straying from the original ethos of the craft. Suddenly, sorry, sun. Suddenly, par. Ugh. Oh god, think first, then speak. Suddenly had a, had a sudden burst of paranoia, just... Can they hear me? Is my microphone on? Yes, my microphone's on. It's fine. Uh, hello to uh, the nerdiest of nerds, Flimsy, Raven, Storm, uh, Justin Ryder. Did to do... The mouse into house, I Smith, remember me, Aramo. I, of course I remember you, Aramo. That is fine. Uh, Couple spikes, hello! Blimey, nine already for a Tuesday stream. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. Ooh, I have one. Where can I submit? Uh, DM me on the Discord is normally the best bet. Uh, I just... Uh... Oh. Sorry, I suddenly realised I've got more craft than I thought I... Oh my god, my notepad's downstairs, isn't it? Uh. Uh, is, this, is this all being shredded? This is all being shredded. I have to, I have to send just very quickly um, get myself together a little list. Uh, where is it? Ah, uh, uh, where are you? Uh. Sorry about this. Should have sorted this out beforehand. But I do have a two-year-old running about the place, so it, it can get a little bit difficult to do. That, uh, that wasn't it, was it? No. There we go. Oh, and the person whose craft I was going to feature has sent me another one. So we will not be... <laughs> so the... Uh, Thumbnail craft won't be a thing. And I just need to send a message here. Uh, And I need to do that, and to do that. And of course, before we forget, I need to make sure everyone knows on the Discord that I am in fact streaming now. Just in case YouTube doesn't send the notification. YouTube sends me notifications that I'm streaming now. What the hell's that about? Do I try to get it? Discord link should be in the description. Mm, yes, it's in the description. That's wrong though. The version of KSP. Oh, Christ, that means it's wrong in the other descriptions as well. Ah! I've done something wrong and now my OCD doesn't like it. Now I'm going to have to go quickly and change it. Ah! 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 Right. Okay. Panic over, the weirdness may continue. Mm. Resume save, resume save, resume save, resume save. Oh, I got my little ethernet network working. Which was nice. I had to get a new faceplate for the socket downstairs, but it's now working. I've now got a hard line onto the... Yeah. Did, I, did I just click on the wrong... Oh no, this is... I normally have it set up for like midday at the KSC, but this is... This is from when I was doing the thumbnail for this Saturday's... Um, 
for this uh, coming Saturday's fighter subscriber video. Tis why the sun is in the wrong place. <coughs> Action, hello. Watching your planes exactly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Behave yourself. Okay. There we go. Six likes already. Thank you very much, everybody. Join the Discord. Welcome aboard. I hope you enjoy your time here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, 3,798 subscribers getting agonizingly close to the 3,800. Computer did a weird restart. I'm not sure if it was updating or something, but yeah, I had all the, I had all the the relevant windows and sort of folders open, and I forgot to reopen them again. So yeah, uh, let's I have to get those into Minecraft folder. That we open that, and then that should sort itself out, and we should be able to see the first graph we're looking at today. Bring that back up. Bring that back up. Back on this. Um. Uh, sorry, just got a response from somebody. Okay. So we have, oh god, I'm all over the place. My apologies, my apologies, just trying to set everything up right. The Discord. Okay, Owned Bucket has sent me. If I can find it. The F999 Pteranodon. Pteranodon. I do beg your pardon. Let's have a look at this little beauty then. Similar. Own bucket sent me the uh, the thumbnail craft, <coughs> but this is a slightly different one because he sent me another one now. So I'm going to do the other one now. Hello, Diamond Got. I mean, this looks this looks okay. Uh, yeah, forward-facing control surfaces are negative, control authority, uh, these are positive, we've got the canards at the front, um, okay. Let's get out one of our patron kerbals and, uh, oh, shall I start from the bottom today? Let's start from the bottom today, you somebody can. Which I think is a perfect juncture to say Super Chat is enabled if you'd like to help support the channel that way, or if you'd like to help support the channel in any other way, there are links to the PayPal and the Patreon in the, in the description. You too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal, as well as access to the Patreon and your Discord, your name at the end of videos. There's some stuff I'm working on for the actual Patreon page, uh, Patreon page, that kind of thing. Okay, right, does this have, okay, two does the mode, three I'm assuming does all countermeasures, it's not really the chaff, is there a separate button for the chaff, there is not a separate button for the chaff, um, okay, go away, there we go, thank you. Oh god, the desktop audio is right up. Let me fix that before I deafen everyone and stream. Right, okay, so that will turn on the engines. That will switch the mode. Let's see how this handles. I 
Hmm. So far so good. So then I'll Oh. Ah. It's still kinda controllable when it goes super man <laughs> super maneuverable. <laughs> okay, I can start to see why this is uh, this this might need the old uh, might, might need the old clinic treatment. Um yeah, you can feel free to send me anything you like really. Maybe get a bit more altitude on us this time. Yeah, it's not. Hmm. How much fuel has this thing got? It has got a lot of fuel. Yeah, I think we may be having wing area to mass... Hello! Phone bucket, hello, it's supposed to be the next one of the things the next season, so we're opening the Sunday up. Thank you very much for the, uh, thank you very much for the donation, Watermelon Slice. Hello to you as well, hello to Owen Bucket, hello to Watermelon Slice, and thank you very much for the, uh, the very kind £3.50. Okay, now we've got a bit of speed going, ah, uh, this is not looking good. Because this thing's so heavy, it can't pull up that quickly. Uh, 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 oh. Right. Okay. Well, I'm gonna sort of. We'll look at this. We'll do the setup as if this is sort of like a fighter subscriber craft. I mean, that's responsive. Super Chat from Watermelon Slice. Is that the first ever Super Chat? Well, thank you very much, Watermelon. See what we can do for this thing. Yeah, I've got nerdiest. I've got there's there's someone else in the waiting room before you, but uh, after I've seen this, but we'll see what we can do. Hmm. Hmm. Right. Okay. Standard standard thing. First of all. Um. Centre of mass, centre of lift. Okay. Let's drain all of the fuel out of these tanks. That's just a structural fuselage. Okay. Nothing in any of those. Okay, we're all good. So where is the centre of... Yes, I, I can do it if you want me to own bucket. It's I, I, I normally do. Let's get a reference for the centre of mass there. Just put that over in paint.net. Uh, then let's give it... Where is it? So... Most of the fuel here. And a little bit of 
the fuel there. Kind of where it sorry, I'm just trying to take a look at this and see I'm just going to juggle fuel around until we got something about right. Eighty, eighty, one twenty. I think that's pretty much spot on, actually, and that's that's going to be two hundred units per engine. Okay. What does this mean? It means that the center of mass. Because the centre of mass is in the same place with both full and empty tanks, it means the centre of mass is not going to change as the fuel drains, because the fuel drain should be evenly. Um, there's no... Um, fuel priority minus 10, fuel priority minus 10. Yeah, it's going to drain from all the, those fuel tanks evenly because the uh, priority is the same. So it's not going to... the handling's not going to change as we go up from one to other. Right. Oh my god. Uh... Hmm. So, what to do next, what to do next, what to do next, what to do next. Let's look at the, let's first of all look at these. Let's start specialising in control servers. I want some specialised on, uh, yeah, let's do those on your, the, uh, the canards like stuck up like that. It's kind of interesting. I'm going to take them off of roll. I'll leave them on both pitch and your, because I'm kind of interested to see what that does. This is pretty much directly in line with the centre of mass, looking at it like that. So that's going to be absolutely no good for pitch. None of these are going to be any good for your. I don't think they'll actually try and do any yawing, but just on the off chance I will disable your for them. Um, how much gimbal do we have? I'm going to notch that down to... 50%. Okay. Right. I like the look of the craft. I really do like the look of the craft. Let's swap out Yosemite Kerman for Watermelon Kerman. Once again, thank you very much for the um, thank you very much for the very kind super chat. <coughs> Don't know why I'm humming classical music. I suppose. <laughs> I think I changed from the A-Team theme tune. That was stuck in my head for ages. Oh yes, I was talking about... Um, I was talking about the fact I fixed my Ethernet network so I can actually just... I've now got a hard connection back down to the uh, to the, um, to the modem via the network switch. I When I was testing to see what was wrong with it before I worked out it was a bust faceplate, I had to make a circuit tester. I don't have a circuit tester. 
all I basically needed to know was if the wires were conducting electricity between one point and another, and I so I had to do something. Um, basically to make sure I had the two ends of the wire together and then I could use this which is just literally just I something I threw together from some bits I had lying around and just if yeah if the negative terminal and the positive terminal make a circuit a little LED lights up that was how I tried to diagnose I did manage to diagnose it like that God knows how. Okay. That's much better. It's not turning too hard. It's quite stable. The center of um, center of lift is quite far behind the center of mass compared to level of planes but it's 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 not too bad I think it's sort of got the wing area so why I was confused about why I couldn't actually get it to turn around that quickly because it's got so much wing area and then it's like oh right it's really heavy because of all the fuel I think we are gonna have to move the center of uh, lift somewhat closer to the center of mass because I think it could do with a little bit more but we don't just want to pile on like something like engine gimbal. I mean, even then, it's not turning ridiculously fast. Mm, we could have a little bit. Of, let's go back to the space plane hangar. Hello from Australia, Chrysler uh, 300C SRT8. Hello to you. Currently just past 6:28. I could not imagine being up at 6:20 a.m. <laughs> Actually, I can because I'm a dad now, but <laughs> I try to repress those memories. Oh, I am very much a night owl. Right, I think. What's that? It's an Elevon 2. So, in terms of like pitching moment. I think that's the furthest. That's sort of like going to be um, producing the force, the force, the force, the force, the force, the force, furthest from the center of mass. So this is kind of like the most important control surface for lift. So I think we're going to go from eleven two. To the old Elevon 3. And we're just going to have that just on pitch. And all these have been whacked up to maximum. That's going to hurt the responsiveness. I think what we're going to do is start bringing all of these down to 20. Do it with the deploy angle as well. Because those huge angles can be kind of nice when you're trying to sort of like really haul the craft around, but um, it does make it less responsive. Mm. Center of lift and center of mass. How heavy is this thing? 14.455. That's not terrible for a fully laden craft what do we have in the middle here does this that doesn't clip into the uh okay we've got those wing surfaces there you can barely see those really hmm 
That noise again for you. Uh, root part is that, okay. So that is just connected to that. I'd be tempted to like carry on that wing surface it's like a bit further. bit further forward. And maybe a bit further forward again. No, I think that's as far forward as we uh like to bring it. Okay, that's that's done. That's done something for the centre of lift already. a bit further forward. Maybe see about chucking something in there. Is that going to be a little too narrow? Wrong one. We can connect to type H. So just trying to see if there's any way I can just nudge that centre of lift forward and in the process a little bit of extra wing surface area doesn't do any harm. Just particularly sort of the quantities we're talking here, it's not going to add a world of weight. That's better. Hmm. <laughs> I think that's going to be like a little too narrow to stick. Um, like some decent control surfaces on there, isn't it? Yeah, we could manage like one. completely in the center. Ah. I think the only way I'm going to get something completely in the center there is to sort of cheat a bit. Right. Again, that's very much going to be a pitch only thing. Okay, we move away from watermelon curve. Sorry, watermelon curve. Sorry, watermelon slice. Uh, thank you very much for the donation. Anyone else joined us? Are the leading angel slats from airplane plus that useful? 
I've not really used them that much, to be honest. Uh, yes, but we say hello to Steak German. Uh, I should have saved this as a separate thing, shouldn't I? Let's save this as a separate one, an A version, and then I can always get the original back off, re-download the original. Let's see how this one performs. Eight likes, thank you very much, everybody. Very, very, very kind. Right. Let's see what we... Oh, God, there wasn't... <laughs> Spot the error. Oh, God. I did set that for picture in the attic. Let's try that one again, shall we? Decided the wants to slow right down. Okay, we did load eventually though. It's taking off much easier. Yeah. It's interesting having both like canards and tailplane that can both do your. I mean that produces a hell of a lot of your force. because it's behind the centre of... That's not behind the centre of mass, though. That's going the wrong way. That's that's kind of weird. Are they ups upside down or something weird? So that was just about in line with the centre of... I am going to turn these off a bit. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, for some reason, these are in front of the center of mass, but they were sort of going the wrong way for pitching it. So that was decreasing. Yeah. Center of mass is still quite far in front of the center of lift, but I think it's it's got enough wing area that it can kind of pull it off. I mean, it does require the control surfaces on um, to be on 20% deflection, which is not ideal. But it is better than nothing. Let's see what else we can um, 
Uh, PvP Sniper 656, hello to you. Harm missiles, I haven't banned them, but they don't work. I, the AI won't fi try to fire them in um, in combat. I'm going to move these a little further forward if I can. If it doesn't look too janky. Just a touch. Uh, there's, there's, there's the minorest bit of jank there. Maybe we can sort that by... I, don't, I know, it, it's interesting from a controlling your perspective. I mean, it really is. I, that's kind of something, uh, canals like that aren't something I've come across before. What I was saying about the centre of mass, yeah, these are in front of the centre of mass, but they're pointing down when I was trying to pitch up, and that's sort of not what you should be doing. So we're going to just take these off of pitch. This one's a bit too close to the centre of mass anyway. This one? The problem is, if I put the authority limiter back the right way for pitch, it's probably going to make it the wrong way for roll. Let's just pop outside quickly onto the runway and just double check that. Look at that, come on! Build the pack three, or I buy. You. I will build you a donut. I thought you'd about to say buy you a donut. I, I take the buy you a donut. Nine likes, thank you very much, everybody. I mean, pack three. They're not. They're not really air-to-air -air missiles. Is this is this going the right way? Yeah, that's going the right way for that. If I turn this on for pitch, it's going the wrong way for pitch because this is in front of the centre of mass. I'm just going to have to turn these off of pitch. Okay, yeah. So that was the right thing to do. Okay. Yeah, you can try for the whole the pro 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 whole proximity hit thing. You just stick. Um... You could do with a bit more turning power. I'm gonna give these just like another ten degrees down. To just keep, because I'm assuming that sort of having the canard sort of pointing upwards a bit was is part of the design philosophy, and I'm trying to, I try and keep that the same. But we do, yeah, just something, just give it a little bit of help, pulling itself around. What does that do to the? Yeah, it's pulling center. Maybe another five degrees. Yeah. Okay. Anything else we can do to sort of start? Trimming off a bit of mass maybe here and there. Two, it's got the three extra air intakes. So I'm not sure if the full three would be necessary. Joy Hello, hello! Are you okay with fixing a shuttle design? I've been trying to work on it's going to be air launch, but I'm not sure if the design will work. Uh, a bit full for this stream. Um I mean, I could give it. I could give it a look. Look in some other. In some other stream, 
Um, yeah. What have you got by way of complement of missiles? Uh, one, two, three, one, two, so six and six for the missiles. Hmm. Yeah, I could do a little something on the missiles, but then again, it's not really the roll capability of this craft I'm that concerned about. Where is that? Comes in about there, and that comes in about there. So, yeah, I can't do that on pitch though, because yeah, the 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 whole wrong way round thing is a problem. Hmm. In the meantime, let's look at some of the weaponry. We've got these uh, two. Gal 22s engage range max. I think two kilometers at most. It's not giving me the option for like properly two kilometers, so we'll just go for two or ten. Uh, missiles, missiles, we want these to fire from the outside in. I don't know if they're doing that. Um, it's looking like it's all defaults. Let's go check, let's go check the missiles. Matteo Gian Jaspiro, hello. Use the Civic for the challenge. Oh yeah! I, oh, I need to get back in touch with Kaz actually. See if he'll uh, see if he'll send something in for the next mailbag, so we can actually properly kind of um, uh, space flight. Hello to you. So we can actually probably get a um, probably get a look at the uh, the Civic. Right. Let's have a quick look at the missiles. Just. Work might be worth taking a moment to uh, optimize those. Which drops first? Okay, outside first. That's as it should be. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That's that's. That's mm, that's fine. Where you have mod pack? I don't really have a mod pack as such. I've got the my mod list for my general general install mod list on the Discord, and also the five subscribe mod list. Let's start setting these up. So what I'm going to do? What's the smallest range I want these to fire at. What's the closest I want these to be firing at? I reckon about a kilometre and a half. Yeah. What's the most distance I want these to be firing at? I'm going to set Priority highest on the sidewinders. Let's whack that all the way up to ten, actually. And so, if a sidewinder is available and it's within the, sort of the reasonable range, and that's going to be, I'm going to say it's about a kilometre up to about three and a half. So if you're in the optimum range for sidewinders, you'll use sidewinders. Because all three of these weapons, there will be a point where all three weapons will overlap. Uh, so use sidewinders, if you can't use sidewinders use AMRAMs and then if you've got no missile use guns obviously 
the range I've got these missiles set to should sort of just... It should all tweak everything so everything's just right. Detonation distance over... Oh, what is the detonation? God, I cannot speak today. Detonation distance on the Amrams is... Oh yeah, that's 43. So I normally do that about 37. I'm going to do 30 and 37. Yeah. That. And you might be wondering why I'm only doing this on like one perm so we can, yeah, drop time down to zero for that. Down to minimum for that. Um, okay, because what I'm going to do is get rid of the rest of these. I mean, the missiles are put on the craft from the outside in, which will do the right thing for the order in which they're selected. This is not... I did not have symmetry on. the missile pylon should be closer in. I'm not going to faff with those just for the moment. But those should be closer in just to make sure it's got a lower um, moment of inertia in sort of this rotation axis. It's easier to spin. <laughs> easier to spin in the roll axis. Oh, just excuse me a second. Let's. Who are we going to get out for this one? Uh, Skippy Gurman. Yeah, I mean, KSP is supposed to be like, as I've often joked, it's lovely, cuddly, educational game, and, you know, we're here modding it to put weaponry in it. I can certainly see how that would be kind of a no no for a lot of people. Okay, I'd say that's certainly more responsive. I mean, if I wanted to change sort of the overall design of the fighter, I'd sort of start flattening up these canards, stick them sort of just on the uh, tip of the uh, tip of the cockpit. But as I said, the whole point of this is not to get a perfect fighter because all the fighters wouldn't end up looking the same. This is just to try and see what I can do with the design I, I'm given. How much of an improvement can I make with sort of a softly, softly approach to this thing? I think I am going to move those missile pylons in. Start to move the mass. Start to move the mass on the wings towards the centre of mass of the aircraft. <laughs> it 
was the missile pylon I got, wasn't it? Yes. Okay. Are those two just? They're just. They're just sort of. They are two separate missile pylons that are just sort of flared out a little bit. Okay. And this will, of course, be having a bit of an effect on the centre of mass, but hopefully not too much. I might leave those other ones out on the wingtips. Because it does kind of look cool to have missiles out there. Not the most technical reason I know. Um, ECM jammer and targeting pod, I sort of make this a multi-role craft. I could do something with those. How are we for countermeasures? Two chaff, two flare. Chaff and a flare pod on the Yeah, I quite I don't I quite like that as a as a uh, as a countermeasure setup. I think I'm just gonna <coughs> Oh and some more on the back here. I think I prefer to, to 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 spread the flares in. I yeah, I prefer to spread the flares in sort of like different directions, so it's not like just symmetrical top and bottom. get them flying all over the place, just confuse the missiles. Um, that's a solid amount of chaff being thrown out though, I think that's that's fine. How are we doing? Five, five minutes to... Okay, I think I've... I think we've made some solid improvements to this craft. What I'm going to do is bring that back up. I'm going to re-download... Redownload the original version of this. Uh, 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 excuse me a second. Get rid of, there we go. Delete all of those. Go back to the downloads. Lock that back in there. Okay. Where did we get to? Uh, we got up to Skippy Kerman. So let's grab Omelette Kerman. And let's set ourselves up a fight. See if this how much of an improvement this thing is. are we doing? So one, two, three, four. Two weeks, four days until the KSP2 stream. Two weeks, three days until KSP comes out, KSP2 comes out. Oh, that's going to be, that's going to be interesting. Uh, what shall I do? 2v2? Two two? Yeah, let's just do a quick 2v2. Two 
since this is a wide boy, so I'm <laughs> fitting three of them so they're not going to collide with each other on the runway. It might be a bit of a job. Blue Flame, hello, FPV, uh, SD, uh, it's late, too late to craft tonight. I've got a little fun thing that just isn't a maneuver, was it? It's, ooh. Yeah, we've, we've got, the, the, the waiting room is pretty full at the moment. It has been an hour. It has been an hour of this stream already. So, just time for me to say, Super Chat is enabled if you'd like to help support the channel that way. Or if you'd like to help support the channel in any other way, there are links to the PayPal and Patreon in the description if you want to... Um, you too can get your little... Oh, sorry, my sinus has just went really funny. Oh. Yeah, sorry, coming back off, off the back of a coal, and that's... um, That was really not pleasant. What was I saying? Um, yes, uh, join up the, Patri uh, the Patreon. You too can get your own Patreon curve or your name at the end of videos, access to the Patreon on your Discord. Uh, some new stuff. I am trying that kind of thing. I'm fine, thank you very much. Try and get you centered there. One thing I haven't done on this is AI tuning. If there's, if there's something obviously disastrously wrong, we'll, we'll look at that. Um, but apart from that, we'll just, uh, we will continue. Um, we'll just continue with sort of with the dogfight as it is. Um, so what have I got so far? Ooh, I've got one of each. Oops. Didn't mean to do that. Time flies so far. Oh, God. Yeah, where's Califrey and Rand? She's normally our, um... Our resident pun master. F nine nine nine. Oops. Uh, yeah, the altered version. Who's next on the list? Josh Kerman. Uh, she. I don't know where she is. It's an easy mistake to make. There are not a lot of you do not get a lot of girls on a KSP uh, on a KSP YouTube channel, but they uh, they do exist. And yeah, one more of the original ones. And I on Kerman will be flying that one. Girls exist. <laughs> no, 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 girls don't exist. They're make believe, like pixies, goblins, and Norway. Yeah, I do have regular clear outs, but I still just with doing things like the mailbag streams, they tend to just carry on accumulating. Okay.
I think we're all good to go. Quick save that again because I'm getting a bit paranoid. Everything good here. Let's go for it. Ah, these might be... I might actually just do these a favour and just because I think they might be just so heavy. I might jettison these central tank contents. Just to get it a little bit. Just make it so it's not quite as ridiculous. I'm just, I'm, so I get a little bit worried just about <laughs> their ability to turn at all. Okay, let's switch the uh, the old dogfight camera on. Over the top, pretty nicely. Oh, is it just one missile per target? Okay, that's something else we're doing. I got to look at the basic configuration of that. Uh, oh, that's coming in. That's very close. Plenty of, plenty of chaff on these things, so they are... Provided they can actually get the um, sort of tangential speed, perpendicular speed, I wouldn't expect them to be that bad. Oh, they have switched to the uh, switched to the Sidewinders already. They are pretty close. Oh my god, one of them gets a hit with the Sidewinder. Ah, yeah, not as manoeuvrable, but... That one is presenting itself as a bit of a sitting duck. Is the more manoeuvrable? Can um, can get out of that situation? Oh, that's dangerous! That's dangerous! That is very dangerous. I think that one has now settled on targeting this one, though. So, yeah. Oh my God! Something just. Uh, yeah, one of the pterodon. The other pterodon has has, has gone. The other regular pterodon has, has, has now been pretty much obliterated. Gunfire coming in from the other two. Oh, oh dear. Oh god, that's that's gonna hurt. Oh, ow. <laughs> I think we can safely say it's an improvement. So yeah, actually, let's um, uh, turn off the extend toggle. Two missiles per target. That's just that's. I think that's the two really basic things if you want to sort of improve. Assume you've got enough missiles, of course, but yeah, you want to turn off the extend toggle. That is that finished. I do beg your pardon. There are downsides to drinking carbonated beverages on stream. Right, what's next? Lukash! Lukash has sent me his... where is it? Where is it? His jet fighter. Interesting. Interesting. <laughs> oh, God. Um... Okay. Let's go see how this flies. It does look kind of cute.
So the single typhoon is there. Doesn't seem to be. Let's toggle the load. Right here. How much fuel does it have? 480. Might be a little much for a single typhoon engine. certainly going to be a bit much for a single Typhoon engine. Reasonably controllable. Not a lot of wing area on it, though. Not at all, own bucket. Not at all. In fact, I could probably grab it now while we're waiting for that to reload. Da, 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 da. There you go. And back to the general stuff. I, we're just going to check on the subscriber situation. 3,800 subscribers! Thank you very much, everybody. Right, so it actually it has... Hmm. There, there is some fun I could have with this craft. There is a lot of fun I could have with this craft. Um... I think we're just gonna, yeah, it's gonna be pitch only, isn't it? We just want to set that to uh, your only. That. I think that's gonna have to do pitch and roll. It's um, this is getting a little close to the center of mass. I think I'm just gonna have that. Uh, seems a bit ridiculous to just have that on roll, sort of given how close it is to the inside of the craft, but. If the wings are swept like that. Hmm. Hmm, I say. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think this is just. I think they're just going to start creating drag. Just the one fuel tank? Just the one. No, it must be more than one fuel tank. Is there any way we can sort of start to drag some of the mass backwards? It, 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 eh? So how many have we got with two of those? Two of those it looks like. Let's see if we've just pulled some of these a bit further into like the tail. It's normally good to sort of have them sort of overlapping a join between two parts so it's easier to sort of like take one part off, pull them out, put the other part back on. Right, and this will pull you back there, uh, probably to about there. Okay, so this is... This is kind of tricky. These don't really weigh well anything. Um, these guns. If 
might pull them back a bit. Is that going to fire? I'm not sure that'll actually fire. Let's stick the fuel back in there. So the centre of mass is obviously going to change as the fuel drains. Not a hell of a lot we can do about that. I, mean, I, I think 400 units is probably a little much for uh, the single Typhoon engine. Are those GAU-22s actually going to fire, though? Mmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. There's a little note on the Discord about the uh, 3,800 subscribers. Very nice. Oh, they will. A little surprised by that. Obviously, whatever's happening, it's it's not triggering the um, sort of a detection thing. So it doesn't count it as actually hitting itself. Hmm. Let's get, because we've got three different guns. Guns, save and close. Was that the top one? Yep, save and close. The bottom pair. Oh, are these actually, are these all? Okay, and these ones. Guns, save and close. Oh no, I think I just yeah, so close. Just make sure they're all I'm I'm doing some of them twice, I know, I'm just again paranoid. I'm watching on two different devices, lol. You do you. Fair enough. How many missiles? How many? How many sidewinders does this thing have? 18, 18 sidewinders, one missile per target. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, guns. Are these? Are these not part? Are they not symmetried? That's not firing. I think that. I think that might be getting the self hit detection thing going. Okay. For, not, not for fighter subscriber, but you know, you know I'll, I'll take anything. This this might not be for fighter subscriber. I mean, the eighteen miss the eighteen sidewinders would be out as well. But uh, okay, that wasn't actually tied into the to the guns menu. You know, if people just want to send me something to have a look at that's 
that's just their own stuff to, to mess about with, but they just want it to be improved, that's fine. It's only when it comes to find a subscriber properly that I start becoming a total arsehole. Why is that not doing anything? Why is that not? F no, they must be symmetried. Because I moved them and they they all moved. Because I moved that backwards and that moved backwards as well. Why is? Move this one backwards and that one move backwards as well. Okay. Guns. Save and clear. Ah! I don't know if like, doing that helps. Ugh. This though almost certainly is not firing because it's sort of doing the whole self-collision detection thing. So I might just try bringing that out down the bottom. Actually, can we just bring it down a little bit and forwards a little bit? Yeah. Who's in the crook? No, not you. Uh, who do we have? We got to Iron Come. Let's get GT Carmen in here. Which DC channel do I sub submit to? And Discord channel. Uh, if you want to submit me, submit across for this. You just 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 DM me on the Discord. Yeah, no, <laughs> nothing special. Eleven likes. Thank you very much, everybody. If you wouldn't mind, just uh, tapping that like button does help the uh, does help the channel, does help the stream, does help the stats. The algorithm seems to like it. Praise be to the algorithm. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 doing that's doing something. <laughs> Oh god, that's just, that's just... <laughs> I do like this kind of craft, just... Oh. Let's just, while we're here, let's just do sort of like, I think as a bare minimum, this has got to be like two, hasn't it? For missiles per time, it's an absolute bare minimum. Um, let's turn off the extend toggle while we're here. Okay. Let's go. Let's go see what we've done. I mean, all we've really done for um, for the flight performance is shift some mass around and take some fuel out. Yago, hello, test test. Can anyone see this comment? No, nobody can see that comment. Direct messages, message request, accept DM. Okay. Right. That.
that's the one thing I need to do is put a little mode toggle in. Is this having on any countermeasures? This thing has no countermeasures. That might be the next thing to uh, to do. Okay. Not as much fuel in there. This should be a little bit easier to handle. I think the amount of missiles is causing it some issues. But I can see how you'd sort of it might be part of the philosophy of this craft. So it turns around, just let's let's go a buttload of missiles. And then of course will have reduced its weight by quite a lot. Do a bit of that. Not still not got quite the oomph. It does have countermeasures. I've just spotted them. It's got some. Uh, uh, uh. It's got some on the um, on this little wing surface there. It's kind of a nice touch. Oh, we've got one more missile left. And now we're just back to the guns. How much havoc can we actually cause here? Can we actually destroy something? Eh. Uh, probably, but... So I mean, this thing can pick up some speed. It's not got the best turning rate, but... If I start to improve the turning rate, I'm almost certainly going to make it worse for, from a perspective of energy retention. Accelerates quickly enough. How's that doing to the fuel? Uh, is a lot of fuel, and even a full afterburning mode, it's taken a while. I'm gonna, yeah, notch down the amount of fuel in this thing. Can attachments get very little bit into the body to reduce? I don't think it reduces the drag much. I'm not sure the uh, the game works like that. Ivan von Grimm, hello. Yeah, with the single Typhoon, we don't need that much fuel. That's going to help. So we got the center of mass, center of lift. That's not too bad. I think what I am going to want to do, we're just going to retract that, we're just going to redo these missiles. And we're going to want some more, I think we're going to want some more countermeasures as well. No, not that. Chaff, uh, that doesn't matter as much. Just stick a pair there. Flares, we've got some coming out sort of at, a, at a jaunty angle like that. I'm just going to put another pair of uh, flare dispensers there. 
Hmm. Want the missiles to deploy from the outside in. These are our only missiles, so 1500 down to about a kilometer. Let's up the selection priority. And of course, guns. get maximum range now. Yeah. Should be slightly more effective weapon setup. Anything we can do to increase the wing area on this. I mean I could just go really cheeky. Which which missile did I set up? That one. Those two are not set up. Okay. Okay, and now I need to go find the thing and say start start extending again. We need some more. We need some more lifting area on this of some description. I think, even if it is going to kill the um, going to kill its speed a little bit. Actually, what's that set up for? Twenty degrees. 20 15 degrees. Um, that's AVR8 winglet. Let's that do that's 25 degrees per second. And those are the control surfaces. Uh, 30 degrees per second. Aren't most of them 35? No, they're 30 degrees per second. And 25 degrees per second. So <clears throat> that's 30 degrees. Oh, God. So I set this down to 18. Divided by 6, times by 5. Yeah, 50, so that's 15. That's perfect. This, yeah, we can bring that right down. We bring that up to about 12. So they should be slightly more responsive and they should all sync up nicely. <sighs> what am I going to do about extra wing surface? So just the single typhoon doesn't give you a lot of room for manoeuvre. We just like stick this in here as not, not not a decorative thing as such. Just to give the wings a bit more shape. Oh my god, the Z fighting going on there. Maybe let's just give them a little bit of an offset there to stop that quite so much. Okay. A little bit more wing area brings the centre of lift and centre of mass a little bit closer. That's weird. Well, we'll we'll just carry on regardless. Um, type E, type D. I might 
do, and let's if we're gonna do that, let's bring those up there. And of course that has screwed with that a little bit. I might do... Let's bring that in a little bit. Clip that in a little bit. Just about the halfway point. So it's not to be too cheaty cheaty. Bring this forward until it meets that. Oh, touch further forward. That's looking nice. And then these should just need to be moved out a little bit. That has put the centre of lift further back, which shouldn't surprise anyone, because, yeah. all forward a little bit then you've got a lot of the mass coming forward as well let's switch out to a different Kerbal and just see how that affects things to make this plane I'm gonna go make a bomber you yeah sounds good you can check it to me on the mailbag stream I it's mostly fighters but I do accept things like bombers and whatnot you finished with the bomber that was quick I actually mean you know the plane you're working on oh. Oh, excuse me. I have to give ten to my respiratory tract quickly. And I still haven't done the toggle mode for this. Okay. Yeah, you can tell it's got more wing area on it now, and that it's not quite as heavy. It's still... Again, let's do, let's do the same test we did last time. <laughs> Jesus. Let's fire all those off. That is a lot of missiles. sluggish in the turn, but of course I don't want to... very responsive in the roll though.
Hmm. Hmm. Nora Sullivan, hello to you. Yeah, it's not. I'm tempted to actually turn the pitch on for those. Yeah, now it can, now it can turn a bit better. The roll isn't that bad. The map can turn a bit better. Now the roll isn't affected that much. We are losing a bit of energy. I think with its current setup with that engine, that's... Oop, flyby. I think that's about the best we're going to sort of hope for. I just wanted to see if I could destroy mission control. Probably not. Oh, 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 oh. Spoke too soon. Uh, 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 oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay, so that's that's quite a that's quite a destructive combination of guns they've got there. That's the other thing. This thing's only going to need to hit you once. I think this is more sort of in the interceptor vein than the um, yeah, superiority craft vein than sort of like the dogfighter. So can I land this? Right, you had tin uh, twin jet engines on the wings. Mm, I mean, we could try sort of like adjusting. I was hoping to sort of just see what performance I get out of this, sort of as it is currently set up, because that's sort of like the purpose of the stream. People send me craft, and I try and without mess try and improve it without messing with it too much yeah okay so a couple more changes to make with all those missiles what I might do because I've only got it on like two missiles per target. I think what I'm going to do is max missile targets, put that up to two. Um, what was the other change we made? We turned pitch on with those. Yeah, as I said, without sort of more wholesale changes, I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to squeeze out of this one. Yeah, if I was, you know, if I was to, to sort of start adjusting this further and sort of switching this to a to a, a twin engine plane would obviously be a start. Maybe, well, maybe we'll do that. Let's go test this against the original. So, yeah. TBCM, hello! Random emojis. How are you doing? Adjustable rotary bomb rack. Um. Will they drop one bomb off the bottom rail and then they rotate? So there's another one on the bottom rail, then they drop that and then they turn around again. And then you can make it sort of. Give, put more or less rails on it and make it longer and make the rails sort of closer together or further out. Play around with it. 
you can get some interesting stuff there. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a bomb rack that's that's adjustable and and, and rotates. It's <laughs> there's not much more to it. Right, uh, another one of these. Oh, I might make this one a three v three because I re I just want to because the more I think the more craft you have, the more likely you are to get some gunfights going on. And I really want to see all these guns go at once. <laughs> and what happens if they hit something? Let's get you moved over uh, there. Let's move you across. You're already starting to spin a bit. Adjusted jet fighters, so we're back down to the bottom now. As I said, this is this is something someone else has sent me, and the point of this this stream isn't isn't to make massive design changes. It's to see how I can make improvements to the craft while sort of keeping it. Um, within the spirit of the original. If that makes any sense. Possibly not. Oh, oh a quarter of an hour to go. Just time for me to say Super Chat is a no one if you'd like to help support the channel that way. Or if you'd like to help support the channel in any other way. In any other way, I should say. There are links to the PayPal and the Patreon in the description. You too can get your own little Patreon Kerbal, as well as your name at the end of videos, access to the Patreon only Discord. Um, some other stuff I'm trying out at the moment. See, there's... There's um, one of our little patron kerbals there. So now we want to deploy the regular jet fighters. Watermelon Kerman. Watermelon Slices, patron kerbal. Watermelon Slice, thank you very much for that super chat earlier, by the way. Just, I know I said it at the time, but just to repeat it. Right, uh, another one of these, well, two more of these in total. So now we've got Steak Carmen. This sodding chair, oops. Let's leave it a bit higher up in the air while we rotate it. Move you across a bit. Brakes on. Work out another one of these. Do you want it to go for? Yeah, I mean, mm, I think I will try doing a two engine version. I think we're going to have a little bit of time having done um, a little bit of time after this and we're up to Skippy Kerman aren't we? Yes.
Uh, let's quick save that. Move you down a bit. Quick save that again because I'm paranoid. Let's see what happens here. Hit each other. Good stuff. Yeah, the single engine means they're not the fastest planes, but as I said, just trying to keep them sort of the same, but not the same, if that makes. Oh, you know, you don't lower the number of guns. Missiles coming in because, of course, they're set up for two uh, two um, max missile targets, aren't they? So there's going to be a lot of missiles coming in from the adjusted jet fighters. We've got 18 sidewinders apiece. <laughs> Look at that! Just, <laughs> just the UI going nuts with all these. Um, yeah, they should be okay. Oh! Oh god! One of them's gone. I don't want them to go. I want. I want to see. I want to see what happens when those other guys get their bring their guns to bear. I just want to see the chaos and destruction that that causes. How's this one doing? Oh, some pretty heavy damage. Oh, okay, yeah, they're they're all gone. How many do they get? I mean, they're still pretty. Why are they firing the outside? They shouldn't be firing them from the outside. They should be firing them from sort of the, sorry, the inside out. They shouldn't be firing them from the outside in. It's not like a huge issue. They do have enough, like roll authority in there. Sandemore, hello. Don't pass me the fighter blueprints, else you'll have your masterpiece ruined by my fighter making skills. I think we have just about got time to try making some kind of two, um, uh, two engine version. So, how are we going to accomplish that? Structural. Uh, do they do? That's sort of a Mark II fuselage, they just... I'm not seeing, like... No, not a Mark Zero. Uh, why have I got two? I don't know why I've got two of these. Um, what I'm going to do is we're just going to construct it up here and then move it into position. Um, aerodynamics. Okay. 
Well, let's adjust that. That's not quite at the right angle, is it? No, it isn't. It's like the really small nose cone. It's air intakes, air intakes, nose cone mark one. No, that's there's one just called small nose cone, isn't there? Yeah. That should bring the mass back a bit. What we might be able to do is... Oh no, the centre of mass is now pretty much spot on the centre of that fuel tank, so... I might bring the fuel down again. Now we're going to need more fuel, aren't we? Because now we've got two of the, the engines. But with the increased wing area... Let's call this the B version. Uh, where did we get to... So we did Ben and Adam, what was it? Yeah, on the common. See how this does. Daniel Callahan, hello! Everyone has a case of flexible Bombay. <laughs> See you later, Sander. That was a very short amount of time. 15 likes, thank you very much, everybody. So, quick test flight. So, of course, this craft is going to be slightly heavier, but we'll have some more thrust to compensate. Thing is now that it's got more thrust, I'd probably be tempted to go round and make sure it's, it can turn a bit better. So maybe look at where else I can sneak in some more wing area, sort of just so, so that it just sort of becomes a bit of a just a, a cycle. But I think. say that's probably enough of an improvement on the original design. Yeah, it can pull a fair few more G's than it used to, I mean primarily I think because it's got it's, it's got twice the engine power on it. when we do get rid of all those missiles.
Well, it's even more responsive in the role. Oh my god! Yeah. I'm going to do a 3v3 just with the two different versions now. Oh! Quickly see what's going on with the channel. Everything's everything's looking good. Should we do a three v three or do we just go for a two v two? Hmm. Still, we got one minute till the stream's supposed to end. I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna try for the from try for the three v three. So on the leg of lack. Leg of lack actually fighting one of the improved craft this time. <laughs> that was the last time where he was um, on the receiving end of a bit of a pelting. There's a running joke for those of you who are kind of relatively new to this channel. There's a running joke that leg of lack's patron Kerbal normally gets. Normally, uh, is normally on the losing team. And then it's all a big conspiracy and what have you. Uh, so now Josh Carman. Josh Kerman and Ion Kerman. I really hope we get to see a gun battle with this. Just the ridiculousness that is the guns on this on these craft. And if someone said, yeah, probably you should get rid of some of the some of the guns. From an optimization strategy, this is this is just too much. When it hits, it's gonna be glorious. It's not gonna hit enough, but just I think as I say in these streams, it's the fighter clinic streams, I'm trying not to alter the ethos of the craft and the ridiculous armament of these I think constitutes part of the ethos of the craft. So another one of the Jet Fighter A's. Uh, so now we're at the GT Kerman. Uh, 16 bombs. That's not bad. How much can my Ionisberg? Harry, my little um, B fifty two esque. Bomber. I'll have to have a look at that. should be good to go. <laughs> so the 
forward. That's about right. Okay. Make sure everybody's on the correct teams. Quick save. Get rid of the vessel mover. Start the competition. Oh my god. Okay. So one of those went off at <laughs> quite the angle, I think. Oh, okay. So of course, both these sets of craft now have the, um, the setup for the missiles where they're going to fire two per target, but also have two missile targets. Oh god, I really want to see what happens when the guns start going. Please, please, can we have a bit of a gun battle here? Yeah, slower in the turn. Their opponents have gotten missiles away first. So, yeah, slightly more sluggish craft. Additional engine power help pay off. As I said, if I was going to go through this and like properly do a two-engine version, I'd have to start mucking about with wing area and center of um, and center of lift and center of mass again. We are getting into gun range. Oh, mama! There go the guns. Oh! No, I don't want to miss our kill. Don't give me any of your missile kill nonsense. I just, I just want to see these guns do their thing. Oh, they are really a bit too sluggish, aren't they? Popping countermeasures. It doesn't look like it's going to work. One of the bees, one of the jet fighter bees, has gone. Some maneuvers as well as just popping the flares. Oh! <laughs> you saw the saw the gravity gun thing come in there. Oh, it's kind of beautiful. Oh, gunfire coming in. So close. <laughs> what the hell happened there? It just, it just, there was a hit from the gravity gun and it just completely bugged out and now the game's crashed. <laughs> Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> Sarah, uh, good it. Hello. Broke uh. my mic. Sarah, good it. How are you? Um. Yeah, the game's crashed. Um, pretty much, pretty much slap bang on time as well, because this is when we're. Um... <laughs> ah, that was so. That was such a beautiful ending to this to this stream. Okay, uh, what else is coming up? Uh, next next Tuesday will be uh, more GTA Five as we continue our little streamed playthrough of that. Um... I think, yeah, I think all the stuff I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, to like kill the screen for was was done in that last episode, which is kind of a relief. Uh, what else? Um, I think this Saturday is a games night stream. There'll be um, 
Fingers crossed if everything's sorted, there'll be the uh, the fighter subscriber video in the daytime. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm sorry. I these things go from seven till nine. You're you're very welcome to 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 uh, to uh, go back and watch it though. So if you want to, if you're learning how to, uh, if you're learning how to build uh, KSP fighters, it might be might be a nice sort of source of some uh, some tips and tricks for you. Yes, but uh, what was I saying? Thank you everybody for coming along. Thank you everybody for um, liking. Thank you to everybody who sent in a craft. Uh, thank you very much to Watermelon Slice for the super chat. Very, very kind of you. 16 likes. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, everybody. Yes, uh, more stuff coming up on the channel. Um, but until then, thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time.